Today I'm going to show you how to convert a listing into a transaction. So from your home screen, you're going to click Manage Listings. Then you're going to find your listing. Once you're in this screen, click Checklist. And then simply click Accepted Contract. If you've done a buyer before, this screen should look familiar. It's pretty much the same as when you're starting a buyer contract. So you're going to put in the MLS number because we're on the seller side, the checklist type that we want, excuse me, is seller side. Um, as you saw, if this was a piece of land we were selling, we could click land, or if we were representing a new construction development, we could also click new construction. Um, there's a whole bunch, so make sure you pick the one that's right for you. For this, we're going to pick seller side. The address is already populated for us. We're going to want to know the sales price, 620000 in this scenario. It was not an office lead. The acceptance date was today, and the closing date is on the 30th. Now we're going to click Next. Because we've already input the seller's information when we made our listing, we don't have to do that in this screen. However, there was no place to put an email. And I always find it nice to have the seller's email to make it easy to send documents. So simply click edit and enter their email. John.smith.gmail.com. Now, when you do that, it does require a phone number. So just make sure you enter that as well. Then click Save. Now we click Next. And we put in the buyer's first name, which we will do Sheriff. Except for that's not how you spell Sheriff. Woody. We probably don't have other information on the purchaser. So that's enough. Next, we're going to need the title person. Fake. Fakerson. Fake at faketitle.com. Fake title. And then put in his phone number or her phone number and click save. Next, we want the agent on the other side. So we are going to have Sally. We're going to input her phone number. She works for 123 Realty. And her email is Sally. 123realty.com. Now, if you would like and have the lender information for the buyer, you can put that in here or any other miscellaneous context, like a transaction coordinator for the other side here. When you're done, you'll click Submit. This will bring you up to the commission info. You've already put in the listing and sales commission. When you did the listing, if anything has changed when going under contract, you can adjust that here. You can also put in your TC fee and who that would go to here. Um, as well as any referrals here or other deposits like earnest money. When you're done with that, simply click Submit. And you have a transaction. All of your listing documents will still appear at the bottom in the listing documentation section. And you can input all of the documents regard, or pertaining to the transaction here. 